Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss how to write the definition of terms. When we say definition of terms, according to Serrano 2016, it is best to define any key terms in your research study upfront so that everyone has a shared understanding. You will be able to find ideas for definitions by reading around the topic. So there are two ways of defining terms in research, namely conceptual definition and the operational definition. So, pag sinabi natin conceptual definition, it is a critical element to the research process and involves scientifically defining a specific concepts o yung sinasabi nating variable or construct so it can be systematically measured. The conceptual definition is considered to be the textbook definition. So, yung sa conceptual definition, maaaring yung mga uh, definition niya ay galing sa libro or sa dictionary. And also, the construct must then be operationally defined to model the conceptual definition. And also, when we say conceptual definition, are offered in the related literature base. Generally speaking, a conceptual definition should be presented word for word and placed in quotes with the associated reference and page number. In some cases, there may be more than one conceptual definition of a construct. So, ano naman yung pinagkaiba ni operational definition sa conceptual definition? So, when you say, operational definition or minsan tinatawag rin siyang operational terms. It defines a concept solely in terms of the operation or methods used to produce and measure it. However, once decided on operational definition for a research study, no one can agree about the definition for a research study. No one can argue about the definition of the concepts for the study. It helps researchers to communicate about their concepts. So, ito lang yung tatanda natin kapag sinasabi natin operational definition. So, yung definition niya, ito yung mga terms no, na ilalagay natin na uh, yung definition niya based doon kung paano siya nag-function sa research natin. Kung paano siya ginawa, kung paano yung proseso niya, hindi ito galing sa libro. Yung definition niya hindi manggagaling sa libro kung paano mo siya ginawa o uh, related dun sa study mo. Okay? Kung, spa, kung ano yung part or yung function niya doon sa study mo. So, ano nga ba yung halimbawa ng definition of term? So, like for example, this one. So, as you can see, so the title of this research is about 4 A's approach and its effect on mathematics proficiency level. So, ano yung mga dapat yung tandaan kapag nagsusulat tayo ng definition of terms? Una, okay, write a short introductory statement. So, mas maiksing maiksi lang. No? Halimbawa, itong nakalagay sa example ko. For better understanding of the study, the following terms are defined operationally. So, and then, ilalagay na natin yung mga terms na uh, isasama natin. And then, pangalawa, Write the terms you would like to include. Ano ba yung mga terms na dapat lang isama dito sa part na to? Una, yung mga variables sa research title nyo. Okay, halimbawa, yung 4A's approach. So, ipapaliwanag natin. And then, yung mga terms na kailangan lang. Okay, hindi mo kailangan lahat ng terms na nabanggit ay ilalagay mo, hindi natin pwedeng punuin or hindi natin pupunuin yung uh, definition of terms natin. Siguro up to 10 terms lang, okay? Pa, uh, 8 to 10, okay na yon. So again, uh, ilalagay natin dito yung mga terms or yung mga hindi familiar, no? yung mga nabanggit mo dun sa research mo na hindi uh, ganun ginagamit. Para Kapag nabasa ng panel or ng readers, ng research mo, ay maintindihan kung anong ibig sabihin nun. So, dito nila titingnan kapag meron silang nabasa na isang word or isang uh, terms na hindi familiar sa kanila. So, dapat ilagay natin dito. 
and last, kailangan isulat natin yung definition of terms in alphabetical order. So, dapat naka-alphabetical. So, sa kagaya ng nakikita nyo, so, nauna yung may number, and then, sumunod na yung mga, uh, yung mga terms natin naka-alphabetical order na. So, madali lang gawin yung definition of terms. So, basta tatandaan nyo lang, hindi nyo kailangan uh, punuin yung part na to. So, ilagay nyo lang yung mga uh, terms na alam nyo na mahirap ipaliwanag agad. So, dito nyo ilalagay. Okay? And then, of course, uh, sundin nyo lang ito. Una, may short introduction ka. And then, ano lang ba ba ang dapat ilagay dito? Yung mga terms. Okay? Yung mga terms na kailangan mo. Especially yung independent and dependent variable ng research mo. And then, yung mga mahalagang uh, terms. At last, li ay dapat naka-alphabetical order yung terms natin. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.